Even the leaflets dropped from the sky were meant to impress the electorate with the godlike qualities of the candidate. How effective would it be? The voting would tell the story. Party leaders crisscrossed the country holding rallies everywhere. Campaign tours covered tens of thousands of miles and many more words. Over African dirt and tarmac roads, through rainforest and upland savanna country, hitting every bush town and village on the way. The message went out by talking drums. By word of mouth. Hospitals, adult education classes, schools, bridges and roads are all built and made for your own benefit and in, in a country 80 percent illiterate the printed word is not to be trusted every voter gets his chance to see his candidate this is grassroots campaigning in the truest sense and every local politician gets the blessing of the party boss and all good. All good. All good. All good. the rhetoric is bitter abusive violent out of andrew jackson or given hell truman but like most political speeches, more bark than bite. Um, if you, if you uh, select, if you elect an NPC, and you elect the action group, you are electing the students and the agents of the remnants of British imperialism. Out of all the oratory, 36 million Nigerians debating party candidates issues. This election and its campaign is turning out to be the most potent educational force since the introduction of the first primary school not too many years ago. The lineup of forces in this political Donnybrook is complex, and with names that don't always fit on campaign buttons, you can't tell the players without a scorecard. These are the party wheels. In the north, Alhaji Sir Amadou Bello, the Sardana of Sokoto, heads the Northern People's Congress. The Sardana, meaning warlord, a traditional title among the Hausa Fulani Muslims of the north, is considered to be the most powerful man in all Nigeria, by virtue of his spiritual as well as political leadership over the largest region in area and population. He is not a candidate for political office himself, but he is a formidable power behind the throne, a combination Mark Hanna, Jim Farley. When we spoke with the Sardana, this became evident. I'd like to ask you to make a prediction, sir. Who will be the next federal prime minister? My party. Uh, will our particular man? Yes, the, the present prime minister. I'm returning him. The present federal prime minister. Yes. I made it known that I'm going to return him. You are not a candidate yourself for the federal house. Now, I, no, I am not. So you would not be federal prime minister. Well, I don't want to be. Would you yourself accept appointment if given to you as Governor General? I have nothing to do with that. I would rather live here amongst my own people and carry my traditional title than an imported one. The Sardana's hand-picked candidate for Prime Minister is Alhaji Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, a modest, soft-spoken former schoolmaster, one of Nigeria's most skillful statesmen. I'm glad to see that... Uh... In the last few years, the Americans are taking quite a lot of interest in Nigeria. And I hope that interest will continue. Next, Chief Obafemi Awolowa, leader of the Action Group, the major party of the Yoruba people in the western region. He's popularly known as Awo. Minimum wage a day, and he will vote solidly for the Action Group on the 12th and put that party in power, you will certainly get that wage. <laughs> Abu is hailed by his followers for his daring helicopter campaign through enemy northern territory. Underlying the bitter hostility between Abu's action group and the Sardana's northern party are long-standing tribal conflicts. For centuries, tribal wars raged between their peoples until the British put them down when they took over. Times change, but tribal feelings still seethe under new political trappings. Chief Oluwa puts it this way. The Northern People's Congress considers the North as its preserve, and it has, uh, and the leaders have done everything in their power to keep the so-called Southern parties out of the Northern region. But the Action Group uh, 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 mm -hmm. decided to, to, to organize in the North, and we now have branches in every village and hamlet in the Northern region. The third major candidate is Dr. Namdi Azikawe head of the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroon, a long-winded title for a political party. He is a veteran nationalist and a hater of colonialism. 
The flamboyant American-educated journalist, sportsman, politician, has a devoted following among the evil people of the eastern region, and his popularity is spreading. My good friend, the Prime Minister of the Federation, Al-Haji Abubakar Dababa Balewa, in his broadcast the other night, committed what I thought was a faux pas, which the Prime Minister should not commit. When the client goes up for Zeke, it has the ring of I like Ike at a Republican National Convention. It makes no difference to me really whether I win this election or not. I want you to believe me. And I'm not talking politics. For 25 years of my life, I fought for the freedom of Nigeria. Nigeria will attain independence on October 1, 1960. So it makes no difference to me whether the Sadauna or Balewa or Chief Awolo or myself will become the first prime minister. So long as Nigeria is free, I'll be satisfied. Returns are coming in here in...